very good morning to you. Thank you very much for keeping it to Y254. This is Power Talk. My name is Ram Aguko. It is the 8th of July 2021. A very warm welcome to you. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also live on our website at www.kbc.co.ke forward slash Y254. This is a, a, a conversation today that uh, we shall have on mother's relationships. Now, when we talk about relationships, uh, for most people, as you start dating, your partner will ask you, how many people have you dated, dated before me? What is your body count? How many people have you done X, Y, Z before me? Tell me about your past. The question is, is talking about your past safe? Can you talk about your past with your partner and not feel judged? Is it possible that your past can be used against you in the future? So that one day when you are in a fight or in a, an argument, they pull up your past and use it against you. Should you feel safe about talking about your past with your partner? And this is the conversation that we are having this morning, talking about past relationships, whether it gives uh, a, an assurance. Will you be assured that your partner shares about their past with you? You know, uh, does it help? in building each other? Does it help in knowing each other? This morning is about your past. Should I share it with my partner or not? To help, on this, to help us in this conversation, I'm joined by uh, next to me, Libby Ndambo. She is a singer and a songwriter. Karibu sana, Libby. And I'm joined also to my extreme left by Samuel Wafula. He is a pastor and, and a motivational speaker. Karibu sana, Sam. The hashtag as always is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ram Aguko and at Y254 Channel. Head over there, give us your tweets, give us your comments and your thoughts as we continue with this conversation. Remember, we also ask our viewers to send in a clips of themselves. You know, just record yourself and tell us what you think about this. We shall be playing your views a bit later on to understand what are people saying on the ground. If at all you want to be part of this conversation, remember we can engage with you both online and, via, uh, and video. I shall sample your feedback as you continue with this conversation. All right, so let's start. Power Talk starts now. Keep tweeting. Keep commenting. Now, uh, <laughs> is it safe to talk about your past with your partner? Libby? The question, I think, is not as, as such as it's safe. Because what, what is safe is dependent mm. on the two people. Can you okay. two may agree what we're creating? Is it a relationship that we want long term? Because a mm. long term relationship, you have to create safety. You know, for you to be able to be intimate with someone, safety has to be Talking there. Talking about your, your past makes you feel safe. No, no, no. We, we create the safety for ourselves. The question is, mm. are we willing to come at two individuals? It's not a guarantee that anyone I meet will mm. make me feel safe. What is guaranteed is, is the person willing to make it safe or not? But talking about your past is very important. It is. But you, you cannot talk about it unless someone makes you feel that it's okay to share about it. So that's my opinion. Well, unless someone creates that environment. Yes, they have to create okay. it. That, 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 that ambience yes. where you feel like, I feel like I'm, I can talk about my experience in this or that. Yes. Sami, yes. when people are starting to date, they normally say that, and this is most, this is, I believe all men, if not, if not all, then most men, 90%. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. If I'm not wrong, 100%. Normally use these words, these exact words. even <laughs> All men have used these exact words. Let's get to know each other. Wow. In the process of getting to know each other, must you know about that part of the person's past, Sami? I will say uh, you don't owe your partner your past. You can choose to uh, discuss it with him or you can choose not to. It is not a guarantee that you must discuss your partner, mm. your, your past with your partner. Now, um, I will say, well, my answer will be yes or no. Yes, depending on whether they are able to handle your past. But you're saying you, you don't owe them any explanation about... You don't about, owe them any explanation about your past. But they past. want to get to know you, so you owe them that. It is a privilege. To get to know you. <laughs> <laughs> 
spoken like a true Luo. <laughs> of course, he is a Luo, but it's a privilege for you to know me. <laughs> you should appreciate that I'm sharing that. that. I'm sharing that. Yeah. <laughs> so, should you tell them if it's a privilege? And I'm wondering, for most people, they normally get that sense of insecurity. Uh -huh about sharing their their past uh -huh. maybe they went through some hard times uh -huh. hmm. now uh, that is i said uh, you you can share your past depending on uh, whether your partner can handle your past mm. and as she said you know safety is not automatic mm. safety is created it takes two people to create safety in a relationship mm. but when that safety is threatened by your past when you feel like your past is uh, will threaten the safety there is no need of sharing so it is not automatic that when we are dating you must share with me your past i must tell you my past it's not automatic is it okay um okay okay uh, do you agree with with her with him that uh you don't know you don't owe anyone anything especially I, in regards to your past i honestly don't agree with that because the past informs who i am now for example where i come from as a culture mm. informs who i am mm. so where i come from like titus we are taught that women cook women clean and do those things yeah mm. you have to make your man fat in the first month so me when i'm getting married <laughs> to a guy what is informing me feeding him uh -huh. as though he needs to get fat is because i know where i'm coming from it's coming from my past what i've seen uh. it's the same way with relationships mm. who i have been with informs how i make decisions with, with regard to the relationship mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so if i have insecurities about my body maybe it stems from people who made me feel like i needed to lose weight mm. to be good enough mm. for them mm. disclosing that is as equal as sharing that i I was intimate with some people and these are the things that they did that made me feel uncomfortable. And, and you would feel as if at some point you've shared too much information. But you see, if you're in, a, and this is, this is why I've put the disclaimer, long-term relationships. Even when you go to premarital, you are asked to share and disclose very intimate things about yourself. Because what is more intimate than marriage? Marriage, everything comes up. In fact, they say that when you get married, it's like now all of the things that you didn't know existed will come up. Mm -hmm. So it's good when you have these discussions so that someone is aware that ye, Libby, you can't tell her certain ones because there's, there's past issues in relation to that. You get, you can't have certain um, ways, mm. like if someone was raped, for example, in a relationship and mm. she did not disclose it or pursue a case. Mm. Yeah. Mm. In that situation, it's good that I communicate that, hey, babe, um, I need to share with you something mm. that hurt me. So even when you're married and you're having sexual intimacy issues, they understand that you had a past. Mm -hmm. So I agree that fine it not it's not a guarantee that you'll have a safe space but that doesn't mean it's a privilege I'm it's looking, a requirement I'm, I'm, I'm looking into this particular um aspect of uh, uh of arguments mm -hmm. and fights of course um le, le, let me talk about this in terms of this particular individual this couple are looking into a long-term engagement they're looking into getting married mm -hmm. they want to have something good they want to build a family or start a family yes and that's why they're talking about it. Let's talk about it from that perspective first. Yes. One day, they break up. Mm -hmm. From experience, okay, let me give my experience. <laughs> <laughs> I once shared my past with somebody that I was, uh, that was a potential mm -hmm. person. Yeah. And then one day in an argument, I said, no wonder you used to do this. Mm -hmm. No wonder you are like this. Mm -hmm. How? And, and that will bring about those insecurities. If at all it's your body, they will say, no wonder you used to be fat. Mm -hmm. no, wonder, no, no wonder you used to be slander. Mm -hmm. No wonder you used to be hated by, by, by persons X, Y, Z. Then, then you never know how things could turn. Mm -hmm. How can you keep yourself safe even as you want to you know, explore something new with this, person, with this partner? Mm -hmm. So I feel, uh, Ram, one thing we must first understand mm. is that... Uh, no relationship guarantees marriage. True. Okay. Dating determines whether or not you will end up together. You, you, you agree with that, Libby? I agree. I agree. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, if you must share your past, you must be very calculative. How? In the sense that, you see, uh, for example, I'm a pastor. 
and uh, there is a lady in church where I minister. There's a lady in church that has had uh, before she got born again, she has had 41 body counts. 41. So every man that comes, the man will come, and two weeks into the relationship, she has already shared, you know, uh, her asha past, kila asha kitu. Kila kitu. and it the relationship won't last for one month. The woman to Sasha Jua, uh, like this, this lady has maybe 41 body counts or maybe 38 or something. Yeah, the body count, dear brother, <laughs> body count, but anyway, continue. <laughs> they withdraw. You understand? Uh. So, in as if you must share your past, you must be very calculative. You must be number one in terms of timing. Mm. When you share your, your past so soon, too soon, you know, it, it, it has an effect. And that is why most relationships don't last for long. But when you are very calculative, you will wait until you are sure. Now, uh, you know, the relationship is defined. You know, the goals are defined. Maybe, you know, the future is now clear. You, 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 you are a motivational speaker and a pastor. And yes. I believe you have had in encounters with people. Yes, yes. And uh, for most who want to get into marriage, mm -hmm. they will always ask themselves that, when is the right time? Mm -hmm. How soon is soon? You know, how, how am I supposed to be calculative? Yes, I'm going to be So, ni mombi is And then they will say that, should I tell them after marriage? Should I tell mm -hmm. them about my past mm -hmm. after we have said, both said, I do? Mm -hmm. Should I tell them, but say, okay, I can't, and they will say, I can't say it now. One day I will share it with you. Mm -hmm. That's how they normally say. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. how calculative should you, should you be, my brother? No, because you... <laughs> no, I... <laughs> no, I'm coming. I'll, I'll explain. <laughs> you see, uh, you can never wait after marriage. Because uh, if, you must, if you will end up with someone in marriage, you must be very sure with the kind of person you are you know, committing yourself to and the kind of man you, you really want to spend your life together with. So... Uh, when I say you must be very calculative, you must first, you know, be mm. sure whether this man is here to stay because, you know, there are people, we are living in a society of youth and dumb. Ah, Ofula. Mm. Oh, in every relationship, there's, there is that hope that everyone has. There is that hope yeah. that everyone has. But there is no guarantee. You see, the society today, we are all living in this society and we know most people will want to use you, you know. Mm. It is a youth and dumb society. So the moment, you know, uh, you get to a point when you, you release, you, you unveil your past too soon, people, you will give, you will give, listen, nobody has power over you except the power you've, you've given them. Libby, you agree with what you're saying? But, and, and, I, you mean, I should know, yes, I want to calculate, calculate. How do you all, calculate? First of all, let's just say, there's no relationship or uh -huh. advice that we can give that's a blueprint for mm -hmm. what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. Because if anything, and mm. this I've been told by even older women, that until you're in the relationship, you don't really understand the layers of problems that maybe you will encounter mm -hmm. or the challenges. But I will say this, what you're saying is right. You cannot open yourself up with someone you're dating, but mm -hmm. someone you're courting, you open up. Mm -hmm. There's a difference between courting and dating. Mm -hmm. Dating... I can date many guys in the sense I'm meeting new people, I'm getting to know them. Where are you going? Okay, you, you are not going the same direction. It's okay. I'll be your friend. This one, let's go for lunch. Let's hang out. Let's, you know, that's mm -hmm. casual dating. What color do you like? That's dating. Courting is when you say, this is Ram. Mm -hmm. This is where Ram used to be and this is where Ram is going. Wow. And this is where I am. This mm -hmm. is where I used to be and this is where I'm going. Let's uh -huh. go together. Uh -huh. okay. Courting uh -huh. is what Mary and Joseph did. In the Bible, wow. yeah, uh. when they were they were betrothed to each other, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. Now we are exclusive. Dating is not exclusivity. You understand what I mean? Wow. So courting means it's, everything is on board. Everything is on board. In everything fact, on one of the things that I remember, I think, and I appreciate that I did, is I actually did premarital before getting engaged, premarital classes. So why were you going there? <laughs> because we are courting with the person I'm with. Mm -hmm. And so we okay. want to understand uh -huh. what are the layers of things that we need to go through mm -hmm. and understand about each other before we make the decision of getting engaged and going to marriage. They need help. Yes, it did. That eight weeks we fought, 
we went <laughs> you argue you realize oh my god this is what he's thinking about this you know they bring out things that you didn't think about while dating you went through premarital counseling before engagement before engagement you understand you're engaged no 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 i'm married well way i am married but you see that's what we did um we went for because we knew we are courting wow. at first we d- we dated mm. we were together we knew okay this is somewhere we are going we mm. want to get married but mm. now when we seriously sat and said okay this for sure i'm not choosing anyone else mm. but now we we need to understand each other mm-hmm. and that conversation about safety it's what we create mm-hmm. you have to you know we are toxic now msema nairobi streets is toxic mm-hmm. yeah people mm. are just picking each other and throwing each other around mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, if you want a healthy relationship, Mm -hmm. it means that you have to talk about the things that hurt you the most, Mm -hmm. that you may heal. And your partner is here to be with you through the healing process. Mm -hmm. And at this point, let's hear what people are saying on the ground. Remember, we asked our viewers to send in a clip of themselves giving their feedback. Let's hear hear, uh, 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 what people have to say. Me, I think, okay. There are some things where they hide, like you can't hide from him. Um, something like same health issues. Same as a girl, as a lady, the past relationship we have, uh, we made love with someone, stuff and stuff. Even then, we can abort. Iyo kitu like inezakuletea issues ako like msha panga marriage and stuff. Iyo nini? Iyo kitu ita have ata have kujua, cause maybe ita kuletea issues more people nini maybe wezi pata mtoto and all that something else like to tembe umekuwa maybe na cancer hiv and stuff and stuff is all lazima atajua but about your past like your past your previous boyfriend or your partner nini nini is all they don't matter so there are things unaweza sema na zingine hazi ah ni ajini my name is fred muya um telling my partner about my past zi you imuhusu the moment to mepatana we begin our present things we begin ni life to menza ube so stories are past ah uh-uh, ah i waste it we do what we tuna deal na kitu yenye tunajua itatoka saa hii ikienda ngambele unaona stories za nyuma zi past za i always work Aha, uh-huh, aha. Uh-huh. Th- th- those are what people said on the ground. Um, ensure that even as you s- send us those clips, tell us your name. Do to do no gana nani pia. We have more. T- Timothy, I-, I believe we will. We-, we have more. We'll play them later on uh, during this conversation. Okay. Wonderful, wonderful. No, remember, it's all about dating. Should you, um, you know, talk about your past with uh, you know your your partner? You've you've heard what uh, that lady and gentleman uh, gentleman have uh, have, have said. And one person mentioned the lady i aborted maybe mm. you know and, and, and these are health issues let's talk yeah. about that, that that aspect health issues should you tell your partner that this is what happened to me in the past with my body and uh, maybe i'm sick in this kind of way maybe uh, this is uh, I, I had a, a, a surgery maybe su- whatever you're seeing here is not original mm. <laughs> yes Maybe the, 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 my chest is, has been uh, medically enhanced. Mm-hmm. Maybe my bottom has been medically enhanced. Should you mention those particular details? Maybe I had an abortion. Yeah. I had to take it. Libby. Yeah, it's important. If you're going to actually get married, like we're saying, uh. marriage is two people becoming one. I need to know what I'm becoming one with. Mm-hmm. It's not a big issue. You know, if you've had Botox or you had anything, disclose that. But what she said about um, aborting and past relationships, mm. it's very important because those things inform a lot of the decisions we make. I may get pregnant and I had an abortion mm. and we keep losing the babies and it stems from an issue from back then. Mm. So now that I'm disclosing it when we are married, there's, you know, there's so much happening. It e- elevates or escalates the situation more than it should have be if I said it before mm. getting married. You know, wow, wow, the reason wow. why you are in the dating and courting phase is that you may get to know someone. Obviously, there are things maybe you'll understand later on in the marriage or the relationship. But I believe that even communicating that, hey, 
before you there were three boys I dated. Mm -hmm. The reason I broke up with boy A is because of this and boy B this and boy C this. You don't have to go into the nitty gritties that, oh, this is what he said to me or mm -hmm. nini. What do they ask? If they ask, you have to communicate again. Is it a safe space? Mm -hmm. Are they ready to hear some of the things? You understand? But okay. it's not a safe, we're not talking about it as one conversation. Mm -hmm. Maybe that's what we need to define here. Okay. It's a conversation that you're constantly having. It's, it's, it's a progress. It's a progression. Okay. So that by okay. the time, like, if you've dated for three, four years, mm -hmm. during that period is when you disclose these things. Mm -hmm. Pole pole, you start telling them that, hey, there's this person I dated, and this uh, maybe they were into witchcraft. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and these oh. are the things that they did, you know. And the reason we broke up was this and this. So that yeah. even your spouse is aware of the things that hurt you. Wow. You know, because if you, I might come and tell you, Ram, I no me kwa mousi. You know, and mm. that thing maybe someone told you as a derogative term. Mm. Or I can tell you, Ram, umekwam healthy. And the last time someone told you that, it was a painful statement. Mm. And that brings out an... So, unani kasirika, siku mzima na shindwa, mbono umekasirika. Umelikitunilipitia kitabu. Exactly. So, those are, that's the reason why we disclose things. Again, we create the safe space. You have to be in a situation where you're telling your spouse, hey, let's talk about this. And I learn how to not hold it against you as you learn how to not hold it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe uh, I will back what she said. Most of this should come now in courtship and not just dating. Because, you know, in courtship, you have, both of you have made up your minds to walk the same journey. And so you've made up your minds to, no matter what happens, you know, you have, you, you have decided you are walking on the same path. That one is okay. But come about on Anza Kudet, Kidogo Kidogo Hivi. That's why I, I talked about, you know, I talked of being calculative. Now that is where the, now the calculations now come in. And as she said, the, it is progressive. You unleash pole pole as, as you know, as you move along. If, if you have a particular um, disease mm -hmm. or sickness, mm -hmm. uh, it could be an, a health issue. Mm -hmm. How soon should you disclose that to your partner? Because yes, it happened. Now this is a new relationship. How, uh, how soon, Wafula? In matters health, I believe, you know, uh, it is important for your partner to know soonest possible. So On day one? Not day one. As <laughs> soon as possible could be day one. It could also be day one. If the person makes you feel safe in day uh, one and they ask those questions, you know the people you, you, who are you. direct, mm -hmm. they'll come and tell you, my name, my name is Libby, mm -hmm. I have this and this de conditions and this and this diseases. Mm -hmm. I want you to know from the get-go mm -hmm. so that if you're not willing to go forward, mm -hmm. I don't waste my time. Uh -huh. So it can uh -huh. be day one. Mm -hmm. And then there are people who like slow progression. Yes. That's why I've said it. There's no standard here. I'm going to standard... <laughs> Children. <laughs> yeah, you, I can understand you, you, that. You have kids, and uh, you know you, you you're looking into getting into a, a marriage with this potential one. Mm -hmm. But you know you got a, a, a child in the past. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have issues with the baby mama or the baby daddy mm -hmm. somewhere. But mm -hmm. maybe you, you don't see each other. Maybe you do. You know, but it is in your past. Mm -hmm. How soon do you disclose that information also? As soon as possible. Yeah. As soon as possible. Because children mm -hmm. can never be hidden. Always if it's a mtoto wa kishwali. Na kiletwa, if maybe you're on a date, and then na letwa ya popa. You understand? It, it will escalate the situation more I than it should imagine. have. Muna kula. Kempinski. Mama na kuja na leso. Eh, unaletea wa hapo. Unambio ende na esa hizo. It's a shock for the, it's, it's very, it's painful when someone does not feel um, that they should honor you enough to share s such a big part of their life. Mm -hmm. You get? So with children, matters children, as soon as possible, if you want the first date, you can tell them, hi, my name is Libby, and I have a child. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you can start with that. Mm -hmm. If the person is a bit, you're not too sure, you can take your time. Mm -hmm. okay. There's no blueprint for this. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm looking into the issue of um, uh, 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 s secrecy. Okay. Now, you've mentioned Everything depends on the space, mm. that freedom, that, that environment that you need you, you to have. But what if you still don't feel like sharing, but your partner wants you to, to talk? And atakasirika, mm. I want you to tell me about your past, but you see, you're, you, you still don't feel free. It can create issues. Mm -hmm. 
your partner feels as though you don't trust them or something like that. Mm -hmm. But the point is, you are not free. You don't feel safe. You don't feel like sharing. It could be something that is personal. Mm -hmm. How should you handle such kind of a scenario? Whether it is you as the lady or you or, 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 as, a, or, as, a, or as a man? I think your partner should be mature enough to understand. Mm. Because uh, you see, uh, ladies, for, for men, ladies, you know, there is no such a good thing you will ever give a lady like security. You understand? Um. And you know, maturity is the number one security you give to a lady. Mm. And so if you are not mature enough to, you know, read, you read, you look at her and you know she is not ready to, you know, open up something. So you can't force her. You know, forcing her is immaturity. So you will take your time and know, wait until when she'll be ready. But I'm a when you ready till when? How could be months, <laughs> Mrs. in a pita has her own gay, you don't know what happened to her. Mm. She's not talking. Mm -hmm. I think maybe the first question I would ask if my spouse has refused to share with me and I'd ask, what would it take or how can I make you feel safe enough to share with me? Mm. Would you like me to tell you something or would you like us to create like a code word where if I say that code word, I'm not allowed to interject and I'm not allowed to take it out of context. Mm -hmm. okay. You understand? Uh -huh. So code word can be, um, I need a safe space right now. Okay. So in that okay. safe space, mm. I'm not allowed to tell you how you feel about the situation. I'm not allowed to control mm. the situation. I'm allowed to just listen. Mm -hmm. mm. I could ask you, would you like us to have a third party mm. being like a therapist or a counselor to help us go through your past and what makes you feel like you're not safe enough? Mm -hmm. Or I'd ask you, is there anything I'm doing that makes you feel unsafe mm. or feel mm. that I cannot handle this and how yeah. can we deal with it? Yeah. Yeah. When you begin there, then you understand, okay, she's not sharing, not because she doesn't want to, mm -hmm. but because maybe someone she shared with used yeah. it against her like you said yeah yes. so now me mm. i'll come and reaffirm and say i'm so sorry for what that person did mm -hmm. however this is what i'm committing to as me you understand so, mimi, i cannot share my password so, so, so. <laughs> i cannot we are we're generally toxic human beings uh. even the mature ones are toxic we have kuna kaki tutu kaushindakana in every season of life, can I talk here? We are all toxic. You're saying all people, we everyone, are all, all human beings are toxic. You can have a, a great church person who mm -hmm. is serving in ministry. She's an angel, but she's toxic when she's a boss at her office. You okay. understand? We are all yeah. toxic. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we need to be is human beings who are willing to be told that you're wrong and you want to change. Mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. I wouldn't date someone who's not willing to change and who's not... Under, who doesn't understand that mm. I am I'm being molded by this life to become mm. better each and every moment. Mm. So if this person is stuck on his ways, mm -hmm. I don't want to be with you. Because we're not static, we're dynamic as human beings. Mm -hmm. Today I may like chicken, Tomorrow I hate it, not because I'm pregnant or not because of hormones. <laughs> I just don't want chicken. Like any, it's as again. <laughs> no, 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 no. It, it, have, you, have you ever woken up your partner at midnight? Nataka kuku saizi. That's kind of, I just want some chicken. Unataka tu. And then the days you don't want. The days you want to talk, the days you just don't just feel like. Talk. Yeah, mm -hmm. you just want to sit. But that, that is mostly amongst uh, ladies. It's dependent. Like honestly, I think I think we both <laughs> do the same thing. But at well, the end of the day, yes, uh, but then the day. at the end of the day, mm. it's we need to create safe spaces. Yeah, be intentional about it. Mm -hmm. It just doesn't happen. It's not magic. You are intentional every single time you're with with your pass your uh, person. I'll, I'll give you time to respond, Afula. Okay. But uh, let me go to Facebook. No, no, people have already. Hey, uh, Otomo Leo, where we? We have asked should you share your your past with your partner on our Facebook page that is Y254. Head over there, drop your comments in the comment section below. Ensure that you are uh, uh, commenting there. Chris Oduma, <laughs> what for? <laughs> what for? Unless you want to go back, going back to your past. Unless you want to go back to your past, that's what Chris Oduma is saying. I'm, I, I'm looking at Isaac Yule Moja and I'm Hapana Akae na Yeye. All right, you can see that on your screen there. 
Uh -huh. Let me re read that at the top of your screen. You can see there. We have uh, a comment there by, uh, uh, that is uh, her. You can see the Isaac or Moja Nasema Hapana Kaina Chris Duma Nasema or what for unless you want to uh, uh, go back. I'm seeing uh, Janet Janet Michaels and Nasema, it's good to share. Come clean, come clean if it was meant to be, it will. Your past should not determine your present. Just lay down your skeletons, Akupende will leave you. Exactly. Mambo <laughs> Ningumu Davis K E and Nasema, no, don't share. Maybe to take a revenge on my ex, but not the past life, Haji. Ati, ah. no, maybe to take revenge on my ex, but not the past life hardships. Maybe we try to find out if we can go up, 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 unless we 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 look at them, Sema. All right. Uh huh. So thank you very much, Davis, Janet, uh, Isaac, and uh, Chris, for your comments. Keep tweeting. The hashtag is part of show on Twitter at Ramaguko and at Y254 channel. Head over to Facebook and uh, to drop in your comments there on our facebook page that is why two five four we've asked a question should you share your past with your partner now i was to, it, maybe i'll give you time to react to the, these comments uh or what uh, davis and mesemati uh i mean isaac and mesemati apana akai na yeye uh huh. Uh, Chris and Asema, what for unless you want to go back to your past mm -hmm. does it mean that if i share my past to my partner, then it means that I'm relieving it. it. Does it mean that I have refused to let go to the past? Afola. <laughs> hey. <Momo. laughs> <laughs> You've been in that position. You come to experience that. You feel that little bit? Eh? Hey, no, no. I'm, I'm trying to digest just what you said. <laughs> just what you said. But I believe uh, it is important. Mm. It is important to just, you know, lay your life, open your life. Yeah. Especially when you have decided that this is the man I want to be with, this is the lady I want to be with. Mm. This is my spouse for life. It is important. Let them know who you are. Let them know what you've been through. Mm. Let them know the kind of experiences you've had in the past. Now, the question that I had asked before, mm -hmm. went to, to that social media mm -hmm. uh, handle, is what if you don't feel safe? But you that your girlfriend, your wife, yes. and I come here, you must tell me about your past. Mm. But what do you feel come on, take a conquer? You don't feel like you want to talk about it. What mm. how do you handle that situation? No, your spouse should be, you know, should be able to go out of the way to know why you don't feel safe. You know? Mm. There there must be a reason why you don't feel safe. So instead of insisting on, you know, tell me your past, let them mm. first know why, mm. what mm. is this thing that makes you not feel safe talking about this, the, the, your past, mm. you know? And after that, they will be able to, you know, it is easy getting information, just depending on the method you're using, you know? Mm. Mm. So when your partner is not feeling safe with uh, sharing their past, get mm. to know the reasons behind, you know, them not feeling safe. Okay. Yes, that way you will be able to handle Excess. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about excess. Is it okay to tell your partner, I've dated person one, two, three, four? Of course, the number can continue depending on who you are. <laughs> 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 when they ask, How many people have you dated before me? Okay. The body count. Mm -hmm. How do you handle that situation, Libby? Probably ask the intention of the question. The motive behind the question there has, there has to be a motive there has to be a motive if you're asking me about my body count so that you can shame me i'm not going to share with you that you have no right to shame me because of mistakes i made i'm human but you can never know that they want to shame me <laughs> you but you you understand where you know there's a way i can ask you sasa Mm. Um, I want us to open up and just share about our past and the people you've been with because I want us to, I want to, we work things out and heal through mm. that. Mm. That's different from telling you, well, umelala na watu wangapi? Nataka kujua saini, niambie saini, umelala na watu wangapi? Okay, I'm not you kuja, understand? I'm not different, lakini, mm -hmm. 
you See, you read there's, there's you have to have emotional intelligence you have to read the situation and ask them yeah. okay i would like to share with you my past however can i please understand um where this is coming from or why you would like to know labda leona tv akona nairobi streets are not safe go and check your woman alafu akakuja hapa na niuliza labda mtu aliona naivasha eh you understand the intention is very important so for yeah. me where i would begin is can i understand where you're coming from yeah. wanting to know that so that i know how how we're going to handle this mm -hmm. if i feel like it's coming from a very toxic space mm -hmm. i'll share i'll communicate with that, that with you that i don't feel safe sharing that with you because where you're coming from is not from a good place however if you would like to know because we want to peel the layers of this relationship to grow deeper in the relationship i i will share with you but kuna mtu mwenye kumuza how many have dated before me alafu asemi hizi zikakwambia they feel offended that hujawaambia wafula just yes or no Okay or maybe. <laughs> Let me put it. Yes, no, maybe. maybe. Will you tell your partner your body count or the number of excess you have? Yes, no, maybe. 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 Let's take that, 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 a break. We'll be back after this. Mm -hmm. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. We are live also on our website www.kbc.co.ke forward slash uh, forward forward slash Y254. Let's take that short break. We'll be back in a bit. Is it safe? Is it okay to share your past with your partner? Should you share your past with your partner? Should you share your past with your partner? Should you share? Come on. These are things that make people to get into fights and arguments just because they did not talk about something that happened about them in the past. These are things that make people not to be able to have an understanding. The question is, should you share? Remember, we have asked our viewers to send in their clips in regards to this particular topic uh, and their opinions. Uh, so let's sample their feedback uh, 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 right now. Uh, Timothy, Twende. Uh, if I tell you I killed my past lover, will you still love me? No, definitely. So it's better to keep the past unknown to anybody. For that one, you are safeguarding you and your relationship. Secondly, people are very judgmental in this world. So the moment you tell them there is that against you, and then they start judging you. So you should never tell somebody your past. All the honesty. Why keep a secret? You can hide something for so long. Like it's you, you can't. It will inevitably come up. Upende usipende. Like. You can't keep something for so long in your life. I say no because for me, it's called a past for a reason. It's just not there. So if um, something is in the past, I meet this person at my present, there is no need they should disclose some things they're not supposed to be in our journey that we're moving forward. For me, it's only about going ahead. So some things that I did in the past, I just live in the past. Bonani for some things, so it is it's okay. Why should I... Uh, resurrect some stuff that are just supposed to stay where they're supposed to be. For me, if he doesn't know about my past, it actually won't affect him. So um, I'm trying enough to keep those things to myself. My partner should not know about them. There is so many things that can haunt you in the future. This is what I mean. Unaza keep something a secret. Let me give examples. There are so many things that happened in the past that might affect your future and especially with the person you have. Especially if you're, if you're deciding to stay with the person up to marriage and longer than that. Let me give an example. Maybe you did abortion before. Um, before this person now. And it affected your womb. And now you can't have children. So you're not... With another guy. Yes, with Tambo too. That was your past. And you didn't tell your spouse. So how, do you, how will you manage to tell your spouse that Whoever uko barren saizi, and hawezi pata watoi, and ukienda hosi utambiwa, the reason was because you tampered with your womb. Will they know you aborted whoever they're telling you? Yes, yeah, because you. they oh, will obviously honey. see it. No, no, let me tell you something. Something like that, especially like, 
I have aborted in my past, it affected my womb. So now I'm married, I cannot give birth. I will not tell my spouse about it. Ah, listen. Mm -hmm. I will sit down with that, with that man, mm -hmm. wisely talk to him. Mm -hmm. The other methods of getting a kid. Eh? Mm -hmm. So let us not go and start uh, and, 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 as resurrecting some things that are just supposed to be buried. Mm -hmm. I, I had an abortion. It's okay. So it's that is my lie. secret. I will not lie. I will just not tell it. But that is now a life partner. Uh, he, he or she was not there during that past. Life starts from the time you meet that partner. You have your story that you will be sharing. You have your story that you will be sharing. You have your story next year. You have your story next year. But next year. But you have your story next year. You have your story next year. You have your story next year. You have Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. You're Let me give you time to react to it. Wafula, react to what people have said there. <laughs> I will start with the lady, the lady that said, you know, uh, for example, you had an abortion and you know you can't get children hmm. and you won't share that with your partner. I think uh, something like that is sensitive enough to share. You, yeah, there are ways of getting children, but let your partner know why you can't get children. If, if they are at peace with that, well and good. You know, because there are things you can't just hide. But do you know people get divorced because of such things? We have seen it happen. When the, the moment you tell your partner about something, they divorce you and they even get a second wife. Mm -hmm. it's but you're fine. saying we should it, share it. Yeah, we should share. You know, happiness is better than marriage. So your, your happiness is better than marriage. So if, uh, you will, if a man will be in that marriage that relationship you know and all their life they are questioning themselves why they can't get children he has gone to the hospital the doctors have proved he is normal everything is fine but they can't get children yet the woman is the issue why she had an abortion maybe years back and as, as such the, she can't get children let make it clear let it be known that this is what happened and you know i can't just get children what do we do about it uh, so it is important let me hear to what people have said um, the children's story, children are such an important part of mm -hmm. relationships, whether you want to have them or not. Mm -hmm. It's important to discuss this before you're married. The reason why um, people get divorced when they find out during a marriage is because then it, it's a lie. It's a big lie that you have g told me we, we agreed we're going to have children and mm -hmm. you knew mm -hmm. that you cannot. Yeah. You understand? Mm -hmm. But disclosing this while we are courting and just sharing that, um, if I could change my past, I would. Mm -hmm. But this thing happened and I can't change that. And this is how I am and going forward, it might not change. God may perform miracles, we mm. don't dispute that. Mm. But I just want you to know so that if you're going to go all in, you go all in knowing. Mm -hmm. this. It's like a job. Unapeonga job description, outa kuja uletwe, ati you're a guest host and then uambiwe wendo na osha cho. You understand what I mean? Yeah. So you don't want to um, mis misappropriate what, what needs to be said you get you get oh, yeah, yeah. you say if you have if you want to have children tell them because we're, we're talking about issue of abortion we're talking what about people who don't want to have children and they went and took a vasectomy mm -hmm. you need should to disc you, disclose you, to should me. you tell your partner that i had a vasectomy yes disclose <laughs> to me that hey um this is not something i want for myself mm -hmm. and so i took it upon myself to get a vasectomy so that i don't have children because i don't want to so that me as a wife i'll be like Okay, as a girlfriend, Nata, I'll be like, okay, this is something you don't want. Is it something that I don't want too? Yes, I don't want children. Okay, let's now go together. Mm -hmm. If I want children, then it's okay. Let, let's just separate because yeah. we don't, we're not going in the same direction. Mm -hmm. And oh. I'm not hoping that you'll change your mind in the future. The other mm -hmm. thing about um, um, lies about your past, they creep up on you. For example, we are now together. Mm -hmm. There was a guy who was psychotic, I dated. He was mad. Mm. So after a few years, mm. I'm with you. I didn't mm. disclose that to you. And then some guy starts stalking mm. this guy. Mm. He will not understand why this guy is obsessed with me. He'll think we have something mm -hmm. going on because why is he you, like this? You may think that you're, you're even cheating. Yes. But if I had disclosed, hey babe, there's a guy I dated and he had very funny tendencies mm. and he was very toxic. And the reason I left him was because I was scared for my life. If this guy ever shows up, he knows how to handle the situation. Mm -hmm. I have prepared him for the situation. Oh. Let's head over to Facebook and see what people are saying there. Well, 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 this is a very hot topic. 
eh na time inaenda time inaenda eh tuko na it's coming up on the screen there we have uh, Sinta Waithera and as a for, for me i don't think we should share our past with our partners the reason being it's your past and all is gone if you talk about it it shall always trigger your forgotten uh, pains wow all watch jackton says that it depends on the motive focus when given when, when when getting into a relationship not all relationships lead to marriages now you go about sharing your past with everyone sometimes they will be used against you it starts with dating courting and finally marriage now everyone you are you are having a future with it's not of great importance to share your past there are things you may hide but unveil later and cause issues beryl queen pichon and the, the, the past is very important to that each other knows so that each other knows exactly what they are, are getting themselves into zadok benson and Sema, yeah i think it's important to share your past because maybe there are changes or ch challenges i faced that led to diminishing of my previous relationship though i'll take same time to take to get to know the person i want to share my past with people are judgmental Ukunje. Mm -hmm. That's true. People are very judgmental. People are judgmental. Like mm -hmm. we said, even when you're sharing your past, mm -hmm. what is it we're sharing? Are we sharing it because I want you to know Vila Nimetembe in Nairobi? Or am I sharing it with you so that you know that this is why my, my past relationship failed? And you will not judge someone. Yeah, this is why it failed. And so I feel like going forward, I would like to do this with you mm -hmm. so that we do it better. You know, we, uh -huh. every experience we have makes, is supposed to make us better. Mm -hmm. Let, let's go to Jimmy K.E. and Asema, to what I personal, to what I personally understand, I don't need and I don't feel safe to feed my current partner with my past life. For what for? <laughs> <laughs> Not unless the, she insists on getting to hear it from me. Yeah, other stories apart from relationships, it's worth sharing. But unless you're not comfortable with your partner and in my thoughts you talk about it because you miss them, you, you miss those old days. There is something you are missing in your current relationship, following in Cape Town. Wow. Mm -hmm. Someone is watching from Cape Town. Yeah, mm -hmm. keep it one, two, five, four. <laughs> and and, and what, what, what Jimmy has said, mm -hmm. that uh, you may be missing something in your current relationship. Mm -hmm. Now, it leads me to ask this question here. Mm -hmm. And I was going there. What if sharing your past affects your future with your current partner? For example, you shared your past that uh, my previous boyfriend was so rich. I a pesa. He had money. And any time I would cough, <laughs> 10,000 shillings. They said, baby, you are coughing. 10,000 shillings. <laughs> you, you say, I want a pedicure. They will do everything from your head to your toe. You say, I have a I have a problem with this with my my chest. They will take you for a full body scan mm. at the hospital. Yani, you're in your past relationship, your partner was well endowed. Whether it was privately in the bedroom, they are well endowed. Mm -hmm. They know how to turn on the buttons and off. Mm -hmm. What if that threatens your current partner to the point that they feel as though? This person had this kind of an ex. Hey, will I ever match up to those standards? What do you do? Wafula. <laughs> you see, uh, before I even answer that, one thing we must understand is that, you know, new relationships mm. don't treat old character flaws. Uh -huh. That is to mean mm. that your past has a way of affecting your future in a way. Mm. So, uh, coming to the example you've just given, Make it clear if you dated rich guys. Make it clear. You see, you cannot date a carpenter and expect to turn him into a plumber. Mm. You understand? Mm. Not in terms of finances. You know, in terms of finances, anything can happen. Life can change. You, you know? Mm. But, you know, uh, it, is, it is very important to come out clear. You know? Let, 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 let your spouse know the history <laughs> of, of the kind of people you have dated. Well, full as a man, I know very well. There's a time we talk about a man's ego here. <laughs> here. I remember. A man's uh, ego, you will feel bruised when someone tells you that my ex was was a bulky guy. <laughs> now, now, Wafula, <laughs> you are here. <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> huh? You will feel threatened. Yeah, you will. But if you are not comfortable with, you know, dating as a, a small guy like me, <laughs> 
<laughs> because of you know the the history of the kind of men you've dated uh, then what are you doing with me <laughs> you, 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 you understand if you are used to dating carpenters please uh, pick another carpenter and continue <laughs> dating <laughs> <laughs> maybe their partner i'm going to that the mm-hmm. person that they were used to be with was even good in bed mm-hmm. now when you are kuna shida mm-hmm. you guys are struggling mm-hmm. maybe the other partner was good in how they treat them mm-hmm. you know when they, when you have a problem they will call you aside and tell you baby it's going to be okay they were so assertive they were so mm. optimistic they know how to encourage you they are, they were good emotionally mm-hmm. how how do you handle that libby i honestly would not um put that on an ex like i would not have that conversation of how you're treating me mm. and how i like being treated because of an ex mm-hmm. you understand what i mean how i i love being loved is because of me mimi sipendi kununuliwa gifts period i don't like it when mm. you buy me gifts i feel like you're buying me you, you get what i mean yeah. but when you just <laughs> when you serve and you uh-huh. make me breakfast oh we go hang out you you know sm- acts of service make uh-huh. me feel nice that's not dependent on my exes but, but what if your exes used to do that they bring you breakfast in bed mm-hmm. but who you've met with uh, with wafula mm-hmm. who has no clue about the kitchen mm-hmm. he, has, he doesn't even like th- those things of bringing breakfast in bed what mm-hmm. you're not understanding is i'm saying uh-huh. if wafula does not bring breakfast in bed uh-huh. i'll not communicate to him my ex is to do it you should do it no uh-huh. Uh-huh. i will say uh-huh. I feel more loved mm-hmm. when you do certain acts of service wow. to me. Uh-huh. I feel more loved babe nikienda salon and mm-hmm. you offer to drop me. Wow. I feel like you care about me. It has nothing to do with my exes. When I come and bring in my exes to do this, it means I'm condemning him mm-hmm. and he's not my ex. Like I said, mm-hmm. your past relationships are not a blueprint for how he's supposed to act. Mm-hmm. Unona blueprint ya building. Yeah. Ukijenga yeah. building the pillars are the pillars. You cannot mm-hmm. change anything about that. And not all buildings are the same. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The foundation so has to be different. If I build this building and I put four pillars, if I go to the next building, I can put one pillar and that's enough. And so we need to treat every relationship mm-hmm. differently. Wow. If you want to be treated in a certain way, communicate that it is what I want. It has nothing to do with other people. Ah, right, let me touch on yet another thing. Maybe there is a way you used to be in the past mm-hmm. because yes we we through this conversation we've talked about um uh, my ex my so and so mm. we've talked about the other person mm-hmm. let's talk about you Ulichoma mwenzako na maji siku moja Yeah and that's why you uh-huh. mm. You you know you know very well that you have violent tendencies uh-huh. maybe as a man you you you, you beat up women in your past but you know you, you you've changed mm-hmm. maybe as a woman you at, at some point you poured you know hot water on there are, there are even women who beat up men yeah the, yeah mm-hmm. the women yeah yeah, yeah no, uh, <laughs> <laughs> i have i've heard of them but i've never seen them but i've heard of them yeah. and, uh, should you mention th- th- those things that this is how i used to be mm-hmm. <laughs> like if you're temperamental it mm-hmm. is okay tell tell them baby i have an issue with my temperaments mm. you know and uh, so that when when you know when you get to a point and they see you know the temperaments now coming they know how to handle you mm. just be, be be clear but you see uh kumagia mtu maji on red flag it's very true there are things that you will yeah. learn about someone that mm. are red flags and you can decide and that's mm-hmm. why dating and courting is important that you understand that you can decide mm-hmm. that eh I can't handle this and that's okay to walk away mm. we've seen we've seen people who've said that if you did this in your past mm-hmm. it means that if you're with me if you did that to another woman then with me it can be 10 times but mm-hmm. you see right now you've changed you're not you're not that person anymore mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. how then do you uh, ha- have that conversation I genuinely think that um because I do a lot of advocacy in the social justice field. Mm-hmm. I genuinely think that one of the things that we don't have is we don't accept that someone did something in the past and they've changed but this possibility mm-hmm. with the right conditions environmental conditions okay. there's a possibility they could react in that way they the same way it. if mimi ni mwanamke wa coast na napenda kupiga makelele and i have very nice vocabulary in swahili to insult a man mm-hmm. even if i teach myself <laughs> how to speak well and s- speak life to this man mm-hmm. if the conditions are right i can explode mm-hmm. <laughs> and so ram needs to understand that this is how she acts when she has certain triggers 
Uh -huh. Yeah. And, and he knows that this is a possibility. Am I willing to mm. deal with that? Because there's no human mm. who deals with life perfectly. Hakuna mm -hmm. I'll say that is a lie and that is a social media influencer perhaps mm -hmm. who's lying to us. Who's lying to us. <laughs> okay? Because we <laughs> all have bad tendency. You've, you've mentioned something here and uh, I think for, so for some guys from the western side mm -hmm. uh, that they say Kiswahili lipita chini ya mtaro ya nyuma. And you, you, you've got this lady who speaks good Swahili mm -hmm. and she has insulted you but you have no clue. <laughs> <laughs> But you see, at the end of the day, we have to understand. Hakuna mtu tapata ako perfect. What you will find is someone who wants to grow and mm. be better every day. Yeah. So yeah. if yeah. You, yeah. you find this person and they've changed and you're seeing proof of things that they're doing to ensure that they've changed. Mm. If this is a man who perhaps one day exploded and beat mm. his wife mm -hmm. or girlfriend, mm -hmm. because now this is girlfriend, yeah? Mm. If they beat the girlfriend, do they have an accountability partner? Mm -hmm. Someone who's keeping them in check? Are they going mm -hmm. for therapy and counseling? Mm -hmm. Are they mm -hmm. dealing with their anger issues? Mm -hmm. If they're doing all these things and you can see the fruit of the labor that they're putting into becoming better, Wow. Mm -hmm. That's someone I can bank on. So you're saying that once you've realized that your partner has certain weaknesses, help them to become better. Yes. Yeah. Go for therapy. Their therapy. therapy. And that is if they are willing to. If Actually, willing. it's not yes. even help them to do it. Mm -hmm. They should do it. Mm -hmm. You are just a bystander and a supporter. Wow. Let's go over to Facebook. I'm seeing uh, Patrick uh, Maish Ribona. Nasema pasti yangu ni yangu. Pahali amenikutia tuanzie hapo. <laughs> Perhaps what maybe people were not understanding each other mm -hmm. is when I'm bringing out the past, I'm not bringing it to relieve it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nikama Kusema, when you go for a job interview, why do they ask where you worked before? Yeah, yeah. Because mm -hmm. they want to understand mm -hmm. It's just perusing through the past and seeing mm -hmm. these are the things that happened and this is these are the things that are informing your skills at the moment. Um, I want us to, have a, to, 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 to wrap things up oh, okay. from our end. Yeah? So mm -hmm. uh, let me give you a, a chance to have a final comment. Mm -hmm. Wrap this conversation up in a very good uh, mm -hmm. note. Not, not, mm -hmm. um, what would be your final word to those people who are watching you? Mm -hmm. Should you share your past with uh, your current partner? That was what we are talking about today. Mm -hmm. Final words within just one minute. I, 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 I'd say uh, you should open up your life. That is if you are courting. You are, you are you you have graduated from dating and you're now courting you have made up your mind to settle together you have made up your mind to walk the same journey it is important that you open up let your spouse know the kind of you know the kind of person they are going to spend the rest of their life with so it is important to you know progressively share your past provided wow. they are wow. able to handle it. All right. Yes. Thank you, Afula. Mm -hmm. Libby, mm. Kwako, on, on your end, uh, I, I want to give you uh, uh, a chance to talk about something here. I'm aware you are a singer mm. and a songwriter. <laughs> yes. There's, come, there's something that is coming up tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. What, what should we be looking out for? <laughs> so I'm releasing a love song. Um, Remember my pens. My pens. <laughs> I, I, I wish we had a band here. Hey. Uh, so, to to, to let a band studio <laughs> But yeah, so yeah. tomorrow at 10 a.m. Mm -hmm. ah. on YouTube and every streaming platform, mm -hmm. you can check out Libby yeah. Ndambo. I'll be releasing a new song and it's called I Do. I Do. It just talks it's about a wedding song. More or less like the journey of love, mm -hmm. but it also has wedding vows. And uh -huh. the icing on the cake is yes. it also has Taita in it. <laughs> taita. Tait you don't have Taita musicians. You know, hawa kujangi amua juangi, sasa nime amua, vile tunaimba nga kiluya, na sijiki jaluo, na kikuyu, tutaimba kitaita sasa. Kitaita. Wow, wow. Tomorrow, sangapi? 10 a.m. on YouTube. On YouTube. And sure that you head over to YouTube, Libby Ndambo, there, and sure that you follow her tomorrow, we shall be releasing. It's a day, is it, do you say, um, edition, exclusive? Exclusively. To say me, kama unataka kusikia ma nice nice things, utakujabo. Kama unataka iso. Liba, tu pate fano luat kusi mabaya nini relationships yamba tu mongelea leo. I genuinely think that if you are willing to go the long haul with someone, get help to figure out how you 
how your past has affected you. Mm -hmm. We all need therapy. We all need help mm -hmm. healing from the past. Right. And go with your partner and also share with your partner. Disclose these things because they come up and they're important to share so that your partner knows exactly what they're getting into. Mm -hmm. But more so, it deepens the relationship and trust between the two of you. Wonderful. Yes. Wow, wow, wow. Um, I'm looking into just one uh, comment here. Um, thank you very much to Pastor Caleb. I can't read your, your, your comments. Pastor Caleb uh, Cal, Calsley from uh, Celebration Jesus Ministry Church in Kayole. Thank you very much, Pastor Caleb. Uh, I've seen your comment there. Uh, I was, uh, let me re finalize this conversation here by reading a quote. And it's coming up on your screen in a bit. You may pick up. Wonderful. And this is what we are saying here. A true relationship is someone who accepts your past, supports your present, mm. loves and encourages your future. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. Oh. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> I was with uh, 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 Samuel Wafula. He is a pastor and a motivational speaker. Karibu sana Sam. Thank you very much. Amen. And I was with Libin Dabo, singer and songwriter. Ensure that you follow her on YouTube tomorrow. She shall be releasing her song saying I do. Yes. In Taita. Thank you very much, Libby, for coming. Thank you. Asante sana. This has been Power Talk. My name is Ram Maguko. A very big thanks to everyone who ensured this show was a success. Thank you for giving us your, 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 your videos, your comments, and your tweets. The hashtag is Power Talk Show at Ram Maguko and at Y254. On behalf of everyone who ensured this show was a success, we want to wish you a blessed day. Make sure that you watch this show, a repeat of this show, tonight at 10 PM. My name is Ram Maguko. May God bless you. May God bless the work of your hands. This is Power Talk.